my last question is, where do you want to go from here? Um, <laughs> that's like a, a great question because I'm really discovering like where I want to go. I had in my show like a little uh, row of small works and little studies that I've been working on, and I actually just like came from working on making like a fuller version of one of the studies, and I'm like super gassed on it, and it's like, oh, this is so good, but um. <laughs> Yeah, I think formally I am like moving away from just traditional painting um, and it's like more classical, refined style because I thought I really wanted to talk about this language of painting and like how that, the history of like the West and like how uh, queer bodies and black bodies and like the other fits into uh, like those conceptions in the West and how I fit into that paradigm and um, I just don't think it's really like it may be working in some senses, but I just like need to stop obsessing over it and I just kind of like want to like move away a little bit. And so just technically like I don't want to make a lot of, a lot more paintings um, in the traditional sense. Um, but conceptually I think I'm leaving behind the whole idea or the whole manifestation of gray and like not taking it so literally, I guess, and like not having this like, I'm black, I'm white, here's this kind of half pun and here this how it manifests in a very like clear way, but more of just like rooting or taking out all these different concepts that I've learned and like uh, something, one of my paintings is titled like Liquidation of the Mulatto Complex and uh, this like, the, it was a, double entendre and because it's like two mannequins in a storefront and so the idea is the mulatto complex could be like a store complex but it could, it's also this like this complex I have as like a mulatto is a mixed race person okay. and um, like a derogatory term for a mixed race person and like uh, thinking of it like trying to define like what is this complex that I have of like being biracial like it's such like a give and take and I'm really like analyzing that more and like writing about that more and so I think just investigating and trying to manifest, uh, I don't know, just like things in like the word mulatto, like the history of that, but then also like the contemporary ramifications of, and uh, benefits of being mixed race. And so, I don't know, just having it be more conceptual and I'm also just like filing through history and like going through like actual just historical documentation and stuff like that and how uh, like, things have evolved into our current context and like how even just like the word mulatto has evolved, like how the image of a biracial person has evolved, and how queer people have evolved and stuff like that. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for anyone who watches this. This is Luke. Hello. You can find them on the Cal Poly campus. You yes. can probably find them famous one day. Oh, maybe. <laughs> That's a hope. <laughs> and you can find them on Instagram. At l.f.austin. A-U-S-T-I-N. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Woo! Woo! Awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay. Say, okay.